Uh, our team, including Steve Rochetti, Louisa Terrell, Brian Deese, Secretary Raimondo, and Secretary Buttigieg, put forward a reasonable counteroffer uh, that reduces the size of the package from $2.25 trillion in additional investment to $1.7 trillion. And in our view, this is the act. Uh, the art, I should say, of seeking common ground. This proposal exhibits a willingness to come down in size, giving on some areas uh, that are important to the President, otherwise they wouldn't have been in the proposal, while also staying firm in areas that are most vital to rebuilding our infrastructure and industries of the future, making our workforce and our country more competitive with China. Our proposal also involved uh, a shifting, uh, in shifting investments in research and development, supply chains, manufacturing, and small business out of the negotiation into other efforts, such as the Endless Frontiers Act and the CHIPS Act, which as you know, there's ongoing discussions and negotiations on a bipartisan level about those as well. Uh, the President, the proposal also agreed to reduce the funding request for broadband to match the Republican offer and to reduce the proposed investment in roads, bridges, and major projects to come closer to the number proposed by the Senators. This is all in the spirit of finding common ground. Now at the same time, as I alluded to, we also, the counter offer also reflects our view that the Republican offer excludes entirely some proposals that are key to our competitiveness, uh, key to investments in clean energy and in, in industries of the future and rebuilding our workforce, including critical investments in our power sector, building and construction, workforce training, veterans hospital construction, and the care economy. So our our counterproposal was primarily focused on the areas of investment, as you'll see when we provide the specific details. And what I reiterated to, which is the President's bottom line about not raising taxes on people making less than $400,000 a year, encouraging uh, uh, the uh, Republican uh, ranking members and leaders to take a fresh look at uh, the fact that many corporations can afford to pay a little bit more taxes and so can many on the highest income. That was really what was in our counterproposal in terms of what was discussed in the meeting. I don't have a readout of that quite yet.